Opening night. Opening I'm already no <laughs> Here we go. Hello, Facebook. How we doing? Welcome to the first opening night of Rascal Comedy. I'm your host, Jack Mack. Uh, so the way it's going to work today, I've got six comedians. I'm going to bring them on. We're going to do a bit of an interview. And then they're going to do like a, maybe 60 seconds, 70 seconds uh, of material. Right. Okay. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to kick off with the material. So, uh, hey, nice. where are you from? Where are you? No, that doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't work with the camera. Um, yeah, we'll start that's off with. Um, that's your set gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I'll start off by saying, um, so I feel like I'm not really struggling with quarantine because I realized my childhood in Mayo was very much in quarantine so there's been no changes really um i don't know why everybody was freaking out uh it was all over the chinese headlines you know covid19 breathtaking uh, bigger <laughs> hits since plague you know thanks for laugh there <laughs> yeah you never you never really trust comedians when it comes to comedy you know <laughs> um, so I, what i've done is i've moved in with my girlfriend and she's from spain so I've decided I'm going to start learning Spanish so I can read her text messages, especially on her phone when she's asleep. Yeah, I just want to know who the fuck this Pepe guy is. She's like, oh, that's my daddy. I'm like, you've got two daddies. But um, I put on a bit of weight in quarantine. Anyone else put on weight? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we all have done it. Guys, we're not the only ones, right? Do you ever notice that the words fit and fat are basically the same words, except the I and fit looks like it's kind of let itself go. It's had a, it's had a half month. So I'll end on this, guys. Uh, my grandfather always said to me, Jack, son, they're not always going to like you for you. So if you're walking on ice, you might as well dance. Which explains why he drowned there last year. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shall we bring on our first act? Yay. Yeah, all the way from Galway, it's Ian Burke. Hello, oh, how are you? That right. Oh, actually, I'll <laughs> bring you on like this. Galway, how are yeah. you doing, Ian? I'm you good, good, how are you? Yeah, good the most amount of people good. have seen it. Amazing. amazing. Um, it's weird. It's weird. I, I've had to move back home through this whole process, which um, it's the first time in years that I've been here, and... You know, because I've already become like a fourteen-year-old child again. Like I do, you know, it's just like I haven't done a dish in four months now. I, I've showered. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm like, there's just my room is just like I have to just I I have a path of no clothes that I can walk to the bed in, and that's it. And on either side, it's just like it's just, it's disgusting. I've become disgusting. I hate myself. You're you're getting used to mommy's cooking. Yeah, and she's not even a good cook. <laughs> <laughs> nice nice mm. yeah, I've had the opposite I've had my girlfriend just cooking all the time and uh, she's a bit of a bully she just kind of insists she wants a good meal you know <laughs> she won't let us there <laughs> yeah she's like I'll be cooking and she'll come over going no <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing that like fake thing where you're like loudly taking out the pots? You're like, oh, I'll cook. I'll do this one for you. And you're waiting for yeah. the moment. It's like, oh, well, if you insist. Oh, how well. do you use the microwave again? Yeah. yeah. yeah I don't I know. Know. How do you make coffee? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But well, you're surviving well. You're doing all right. I see you're, you're doing a few videos online, Ian. Yeah, I'm doing a few. I feel like it's, I literally have nothing else to do with my life at the moment. So. Once a week, I'll do something, and I'll feel so unnecessarily proud of it that it just it gets me through another week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can relate to that. I do one TikTok, and I'm like, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Working hard. All right, so I think I'm going to bring you on stage now. <clears throat> okay. I don't, just get ready. I don't, really know how, <laughs> I don't really know how I do that. Do I just do I press this? No, that's me. <laughs> we look like the Brady. Most nice. So I'm still working out how to work this. You know what happened? <laughs> no, I can't drag you over. Okay, I'm gonna take myself out. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's Jack. <laughs> 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 
Wait, <laughs> where, where did it... <laughs> Do I wait for everyone else to come back in? Or... Coming around the yeah, mountain. Oh, no, I'm back. <laughs> I don't know, boy. Can Why you even take myself me? out and you can do your set? Everybody, big cheer, big clap for Yay. Ian. This is gonna be so weird. Then I like, panic and want to come off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but anyway, yeah, as I was saying, um, so I've had to move back in with my parents now throughout quarantine, which has been an absolute nightmare. Like, especially like my dad, he keeps expecting me to do things around the house. Like, you know, he asked me last month to paint the outside of the house, and I haven't started yet. And he doesn't get that at all because, like, his favorite thing in life, like, he loves DIY. Absolutely fucking loves it, like. But he's also careless and forgetful, so he never remembers where he puts anything. So anytime he goes to do a job, he just spends forever looking for the tools. Like, last night, he went up into the attic to find some rope, and he still hasn't come back down. (laughs) (laughs) Bit bit dark. Uh, Yeah, it's weird. I think the, the thing I'm missing the most during quarantine is, like, just... Honestly, it's just sex. Like, I miss it. Like, I miss everything about it. I miss all the, the cute things girls used to say in bed, like, choke me, or I'm not old enough. And, like, <laughs> yeah, no, it's just it's really hard. Like, it is really fucking hard. And, um, yeah, I'm struggling. Like, but I think the worst part as well is, like, I haven't bought anything since all of this started. Like, I'm... Um, because all the shops are closed and I'm afraid to buy stuff online because last year I got addicted to buying stuff online and it got like really bad. I was spending all of my money on it. And um, I hit rock bottom last October when I made the most ridiculous purchase of my life. Um, but thankfully I got an email two weeks later saying that the goods had got damaged in transit and I was going to get a full refund. And I was so relieved because honest to God, I had no idea what I was going to do with 39 Vietnamese people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. anyway that's my minute so this is the fun part where we're like how how long does it take jack to actually re-enter the room i i actually i laugh so hard at the rope joke oh. but i can <laughs> <Coffee burp. laughs> i really enjoyed that one um yeah, I'm gonna hopefully be more organized. Uh, it's you know the first oh, night yeah. in learning how to work. This is also for the viewers watching right now. If you you can like type and it'll come up. So if you want to heckle any of the comedians, by all means, I can read them out as well. Send in a message. All go. Right, so let's get on to our next act. It's. Terry Norman. Let's get hey. Terry up. Where's Terry? There's Terry. How are you doing, um, Terry? That was a horrible thing to come on to. Hey, if you want to heckle the comedians, you can do that. Here's Terry. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Jack. I was just like, it's just words. <laughs> <laughs> it's words no, that no, weren't no. coming in. But then as soon as you said, oh, you can heckle comedians, we started getting messages in the chat. There's like three in the space of 10 seconds. Hang on. Someone, Alex J, has just said, we love Terry. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's actually pretty nice. Thank you, Alex. She's obviously, you obviously paid. Yeah, I, I forgot that he can't, uh, he can't respond. <laughs> but uh, I love Alex as well. I think I, I think I can. Yeah. I'm typing, really? Well, I mean, he can hear me if he's watching it. You don't, <laughs> I don't need to send him a text. Hi, Alex. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Are you not supposed to be asking me questions right now, Jack? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Who's heck? Or is this my minute? I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want time no, no, eating no. into my. I don't want you eating into my minute here. Minute. This is the interview phase, right? This is the. This is the bit where I, I calm the. Comedians oh, you could have fooled and... me. <laughs> All right, I can also block you from this. Ah, yeah, <laughs> Jack is a cat. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Oh, what cat is that, Jack? That's Bill. That's... Oh, my cat was in the vet today. Am I interrupting she the has flow? gingivitis. You are, yeah. No, there was no flow. <laughs> so you're interrupting the series... sands of the desert. How how Sorry, are Jack. you, Terry? How's your Where quarantine you... been? How is what? 
<laughs> Sorry, I didn't catch that. How was what? How was how was um no how was life? How was quarantine? How was are you in Dublin? Qu- quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> you know that thing? I don't follow. <laughs> but in- how is it? How are you? I'm good. Well, I'm confused. Quarantine. I... Yeah, how's your quarantine? How's, how's You've it lost me. <laughs> what do you mean? How is my What is quarantine? What is. Well, You've thrown like... me. How is my quarantine? I've not heard this. What's it like for you what's being indoors and not being able quarantine to. Quarantine is a... a good experience? I don't know because I, I don't know because I go outside. I'm not a hermit. <laughs> I, I go outside every day. Okay. Good. <laughs> Here's what I got. I'm sorry. I don't mean to, when people are like, "Oh, what have you been doing during lockdown?" V- violating lockdown is what I. That's how I've been coping with it. I mean, that's very on brand. It's very on brand for you. Uh, it's like, what are you drinking, by the way? <laughs> uh, very, so yeah, something very off brand. A bottle of water, and it is off brand because it's from like little. It's it's. Ge- I'm drinking generic water. That's that's uh, fluid. No, 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 I is think what that I'm is very on brand. Um, I see you've been doing some live videos with non-water liquid. Yes, yeah, I've been doing live videos with cans. It's just me drinking cans and telling jokes. It's the begin. I'm working on a spin-off. Uh, Terry Norman does heroin and tells jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be on, like a Saturday or something? Because I know it's normally on a Friday. <laughs> um, I'd probably ad- I'd probably advertise it for a Saturday. And then I uh, never do it because I do the heroin and totally so forget to do the live stream. Mm. Yeah. That's not what a heroin overdose looks like. I, I've you ever see those like pictures of celebrities and are, you know they leak like crime scene photos? Of, oh, here's a celebrity overdose by heroin. Uh, he's like dead on the floor. Uh, he's never like he's never sitting in front of a computer on a Instagram live. <laughs> Just. Like how Terry talks about leaks. Right. Well, I think we're going to get like Terry totally on. Normal. <laughs> Hang on, David. Yeah. Well, I think for Terry, he's, he's seen a few things. <laughs> Terry, are you ready to come on? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I'm going to maybe just delete everybody and then you'll be the center stage and I'll bring them back on. I don't believe that's how it's going to work. We'll go, okay. Is it me? Hi. Am I? Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, here's Jack Horgan and his mattress and his cat, and everybody's here. Good. Now that we're all together, we can begin. Go. Ah, there I am. This all is, right. Uh, all right. Oh, I'm Everybody, gone. give a big warm welcome. Big round of applause. We're b- back to Jack. My, yes, that was me being pulled off stage. Oh, here we are again. This is good. <laughs> um, this is weird. I, I've done a few of these things, and it, it makes me uncomfortable because it's like it's not stand-up comedy, no matter how you try to like brand it. It's not. It's just not stand-up comedy. This is stand-up comedy in the same way uh, jacking off on chat roulette is having sex. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't. I mean, if it was, I'd be the greatest womanizer since Ric Flair. But that's. It's just not how it works. I can't wait for this to be over with we can get back to like regular news like i want to hear about all the shady shit conor mcgregor is doing again i miss those like remember i could like last year there was an article out and i was like oh a unnamed irish sports star accused of sexual assault and then i, I said in the article it was, it was the same unnamed irish sports star who was accused of sexual assault last year and they think that like they're getting around liable laws by doing an unnamed irish sports star. they think like people are gonna be like who the fuck is he talking Sonia Sullivan just can't control herself. <laughs> You're a fucking beast. Uh, yesterday, or maybe the day before, it was two years since we legalized abortion. And it, it doesn't feel like two years because fucking time flies when you're having fun. But I remember in the run up to it, seeing it, it was like a protest in Grafton Street and there was a woman who had a sign and it said, uh, what if Jesus had been aborted? And she thinks that's like fucking, she, she thinks that's like the number one argument against the voice she thought that was going to swing the referendum she thought people who were going to vote yes would see that sign but oh shit i didn't think of that what if jesus had been aboard it's a bullshit argument and it's a moot point because he would have just come back three days later and <laughs> boy would he have been pissed <laughs> little fetus jesus appearing to mary as she gets ready to 
sitter junior sitter. Oh, Jesus, you're back. Yeah, and I can only do it once. Okay, that is my minute. Thank you very much. Uh, back to Jack Mack. Terry Norman, everybody. Well done, Terry. Sorry for the uh, wait for the awkward uh, thing I've got on here. I, I'm going to get better at oh, technology. Don't worry about it. It's a trial. We're going to get the other comedians in. There we go. Uh, there we go. I'm only allowed. If this thing says I'm only allowed six people. This is so crap. Uh, Amy, I don't know if Amy can see me. Amy is waiting in the wings. Uh, I will get you on soon. She's waiting. Okay, she she can hear me. Right. So. Our next comedian tonight is Thomason Lockwood. Thomason, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Now, the viewers might not know this, but Thomas and I actually went to drama school together. Mm. Woo! Ooh. Don't yeah. worry, that wasn't meant to sound fantastic. Oh, like, Sorry. Oh, you... <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you in a couple of commercials. You've seen me in, in what? A couple of commercials. Oh yeah, I did you a uh, cornflakes commercial. <laughs> yes, you were very memorable in the. Oh, oh you you were. The, it's going to taste great, guy. No, no, no. I was in. I I literally like. I was in for three seconds. This guy was like, was that you? "They're going to taste great." Up. That was you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're going to taste you? great. Why are we doing this? We should all Speak, be watching that video sorry, right now. Sorry, to fucking <laughs> in. That, that guy was like, I can hear the frosty. Hitting, I can hear the frosty's hitting my plate. What the fuck? No one eats cereal off a plate. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll get back to that, Jack. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Um... He's been he's he's been waiting to use that bit, and he's been like, I wonder when I'll ever be in a situation where I can make that joke. You were in a cornflakes commercial. Frosties on a plate. Fine. I feel like we're on the Graham Norton couch. Thanks for setting me up, Terry. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you, you did text me just before and said, hey, I've had this joke for five years. Can you uh, set me up for it, please? <laughs> All right, right. We're going to get back. We're going to get I back to one. the interview here. So, sorry, right, Thomas. What, <laughs> what are you saying? You've seen me in a few commercials. Any commercials yourself? Um, A couple, yeah. Like, you know... Just ma mainly online stuff, but I did one for Sprint, which is like a US. I was in a US commercial a few years back, and that was quite fun because they had like massive budget for like a commercial. It was ridiculous. Oh, I ate so much. I, mean, <laughs> I ate so much is, food. Is it Sprint? Is it a. It's like a. It uh, I think, no, it's like internet connection. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. You were just in the commercial. Yeah. I had to like um, be a creepy coworker, a high five a guy, and then I hug him, and it's very inappropriate. HR would not be happy. But it was great. I could see you playing that part. Yeah, it's my kind of thing. <laughs> did you go? You know, did you do the Chris talking? Get into the role? You know, did you channel him? His energy. I did. I did. I double pirouetted into the room, and um, <laughs> Chris Hawking's feedback for me for my dance solo once was, um, I hated it. And that was it. Was that like, was oh, it. No, nothing critical. Oh. Or maybe you could help by saying you could do this. <laughs> no, if anyone I, doesn't I, know who that is, like the, he the was head brilliant. Of he was very brilliant, Chris Hocking. Harsh but fair. I love, I love the guy. Yeah, we're not saying anything bad about him. No, of course not. He likes one of my videos. Re no, he hearted one of my videos recently. So. Oh. You got the Hawking seal of approval. Was, yeah. Yeah. I looked awful but in it. Yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was probably at like, all. Oh. No, yeah. Like... yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, you, how long have you been doing stand up now? About a year? Uh, less than a year. Yeah. Like, I was just starting to get a couple of pay gigs come along before the pandemic. So, it's just like. Back to square one, probably, after. But never mind. I don't think so. You'll be back on stage <laughs> making the big ones. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. And you'll be in, I'm sure, many more serial commercials. Like, just yeah. hang in there. Like, we should Bex is what I'm aiming for. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. aim a bit more, like, you should probably aim a bit, like, more realistic. What's a big serial? What would be a good serial brand to, to aim for? 
Special K, that red dress, honey. Like, that's what you need. I could play the husband. <laughs> I could be like the love interest in the Special K ad. Yes, you're the guy that she's like eating the cereal for. Like the guy she's trying to impress. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I could see that. She need to get to the gym now, get that six pack, because you need a six pack in those type of, types of ads. And like an orange tan. Yeah, I, you'll pull it off. It'll be great. Don't worry about no, it. No, I won't. I'm as pale yeah, as Christmas. You'd look like Donald Trump. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nobody knows. Special K like me, but just keep eating. It's crazy. <laughs> okay. Right. Crazy. I think uh, we're going to bring you on stage. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready for the awkward shuffle of me disappearing and coming back like a magician? It, it's, it's, it's seamless, yeah. Yeah, it's... Thank God it's a comedy gig. Right, I'm gonna go and then I'm gonna come back. Hey. All right, I think I'm good. Do I go? I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, yeah. Um, so, do you know what I've really not missed since lockdown? My work colleagues. I, I had this one girl called Becky, and she was just the worst. Like I was her supervisor. Every time I give her a job, she'd just be like, "Okay, yeah, in a minute, babes. Like just chillax, all right? It's all Gucci." But things were not all Gucci. Things were not very Gucci at all. And I tried to confront her one time, just get an explanation out of this behaviour. I said, "Look, Becky, I love working with you. I really do. But just sometimes the way you speak to me, it's a little bit of juice." And she went. Oh. <laughs> I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not an explanation. It would have been an explanation, right? If she'd gone, <laughs> I'm a twat. <laughs> <laughs> but she didn't. But you know what I've missed since lockdown? What I have missed is traveling. And the other day I said to my boyfriend, if you could take me anywhere tomorrow, if you could take me anywhere in the world, where would you take me? And he went, up the arse. <laughs> I don't know why he used to take me there. Hardly ever any fun. It's been ruined by tourists. Quite frankly, a bit of a shit hole. <laughs> That's my minute, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I'm still it. Damn. <laughs> I'm really bad at technology. No, everybody, give it up for uh, Thomas and Lockwood, everybody, all the way from London. Woo. Thought I'd mix it up. We shouldn't just have all Irish people because they get a big head. You know. Yes, we I need do. To keep you, I need to keep you fuckers on your toes. <laughs> um, I'm actually a Scorpio, which is funny, you know. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's what you're like as a work colleague. That's why um... I'm a bit of a twat here. I'm like, right. <laughs> I'm going to go and come You know back. how you keep us on our toes, Jack? Yeah. You know how you've been keeping us on our toes? It's the constant threat of suddenly being on the center of the screen <laughs> just as you're yeah. switching around. That's keeping me yeah. on my toes. That's how I'm paying attention. I don't want to be caught off guard and suddenly on the screen. No, I like how you're just, like, drinking water. You're not even... You're like, if I'm on, I'm on. <laughs> right. We're going to go to our next... What? Our next uh, interviewee. Give it up for Jack. How do I say your name? Horrigan? Is that right? How are Wait, you? However you like. I don't... Hey. Is that a mattress in the background? <laughs> yeah, I That's my studio wall right there. Joe Rogan ain't shit. I actually have an archery range on the other side too, so I wrote that, would you believe? Uh, so is that your bedroom? Is there not enough room in there? <laughs> This is just uh, my shout. But I guess you could call it a studio. I am hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice, spare room. Nice. <laughs> and how's your quarantine going? You've obviously heard that before, or, or is it just Terry? How's my quarantine going? Yeah. I'm going to level with you, Jack. I am losing my fucking mind. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm going fucking crazy. Absolutely fucking crazy. I haven't screamed at a crowd in months. Um, I need it. <laughs> I don't feel well, you know? Like, right. I'm sitting here with a toilet seat, and I don't know what to do about it. 
Um, by the way, Siobhan <laughs> is watching downstairs. I'm sorry. I, I broke the, the toilet seat in the other room. Um, Did you just do that? Just before Jack, the are you doing or... this live stream on the toilet? Uh, I didn't know. I, I broke that. And then I thought, like, what a shame no one would see this cover. So I said I'd bring it. Um, what I don't really have a close. joke about it, Terry, to be honest with you. Uh, but, you know, I'm hoping it'll be funny later. Or now. Either way. Either way. Jack, I, I said, you don't need to write material. Just talk about your life. Yeah. I, I, to be honest with you, Jack, I can't. be a million. In a pint before you came in, you're like, yeah, I just made this. Yeah, that's, um, that's how I live my life, Jack. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just need energy and I'm fucking, I'm sleeping like three hours. In, I'm like an old age pensioner. I sleep like fucking two in the afternoon to four and then I'm awake for two days and then I'm fuck. I don't know. So I couldn't, I couldn't confidently sit here and be like, I can't be awake for two minutes. So I was like, throw coffee in with milk. Make sure I am. That's what we like. That's what we like to hear in rascal comedy. Uh, we like to put our comedians the fucking through. Lag. <laughs> the lag is painful. All of my hopes and dreams die in between me saying something and you going, huh, it is a fucking nightmare. But... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad to be here. It's great to be here, yeah. Right, yeah. are you ready to it's get up on stage? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, sweet, sweet. Before before you go, a uh, uh, Siobhan here has just commented. That's the third toilet seat you've broken. Do you know? Do you know the Siobhan? <laughs> um, do you live with her? Or? The first one we fucked when we got here, and we got one in like a cheap place. And this one is my fault, to be fair. Fair enough. All right, I'm going to bring you on stage. Uh, apologies for this awkward shuffle. You're actually quite. Okay, if I, yeah. You're all- I can hear. <laughs> Your laughs down there, Siobhan, are fucking helping a bunch. <laughs> Hello again, new English friend. Hey, what's the crack now? Hey, hey Jack. Uh, hey. Okay, one minute. I need to set my timer. One minute, one minute, one minute. Just wait a sec. Wait a sec, God, because I don't want to, you know. I better over. introduce you. All uh, right, everybody. Yeah. So, hi. Uh, what's Sunday the crack? Thomas Welcome. Listen, no here's what yeah. I'm No, I'm not again. Everybody on Facebook, give it up for Jack Horrigan, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Um, so, you kind of, I, I have to restart my timer now because half my time's gone. Oh. Uh. And I can't work my watch, so this is going to be a nightmare. Listen, here's a thought I actually had. Do you ever think about taking about when you take acid? Is it really like just rolling a dice on what your personality is going to be for the next six months? Have any of you had that? No. That little li- like, <laughs> do you a little bit fucked? No, you just suck on a bit of cardboard and then you're different. I don't know. Seems crazy to me. Hey, I was watching that John movie with Siobhan the other day, and I saw that he has a husband. What is he gay? <laughs> <laughs> Top crowd. Uh, where are you from? Uh, having a good night? Get it? There's no one there. It's like real comedy. <laughs> Listen, Leo Varadkar. Leo Varadkar went to Lizzo, right? I don't know how to fucking get that into a minute, but why do we have 10,000 homeless and a guy that thinks it's okay to go to Lizzo? Is that not fucked? Is that not fucked? No, am I actually fucking crazy? Am I like, is that, am I, am I unreasonable? Am I unreasonable to think that maybe we should like stop one of the children that are turning blue in one of the fucking doorways of lifestyle sports in Dublin? Maybe we should get them a cup of tea before he goes to fucking Lizzo in a crop top. Am I fucking bananas? No, am I crazy? Sorry, this is quarantine. <laughs> um, I haven't had many other thoughts other than that. What's this page say? Oh yeah, do you ever get the strong weed? Do you ever get strong weed and then your cat gets judgmental? <laughs> no. Because usually when I'm talking to my cat, like she's all of my ideas and shit. But when I'm smoking strong weed, she just looks at me and doesn't laugh at anything. It's fucked. <laughs> Thanks for laughing, Siobhan. I'm going to cry with you later. <laughs> <laughs> it's great that I actually only have to go across the hall to cry. Usually you have to wait until the spin home. So that's fun. Um, <laughs> this has totally been longer than a minute. Are you going to save me? It says two. I've gone over. <laughs> 
Will I bring the toilet seat back? Was that killing? Yay! <laughs> hey, look, it's a toilet Yay. seat. <laughs> huh? Better than a fucking ukulele on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Jack saved me. <laughs> Jack Hargan, everybody. <laughs> it's a bit weird that I can just Namaste. pop up at any time. Namaste. I miss your rants, Jack. I miss your rants. I miss you. I could see you doing like a Tommy Tiernan style where he just did a show, an hour show, and he just didn't know what he was going to do. He just came out and improvised. It's the funnest way. That's your Edinburgh, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just spin, spin a fucking winning street wheel of topics. <laughs> no. What are we talking about today, lads? I don't know. A <laughs> cocaine? Yeah. 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 Just do like I a know. fucking hour-long show about the walk to the gig. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, you should bring that Edinburgh next year. Right. We're going to bring oh, on... Yeah. Thomas, are you sticking around? Um... If you if you need to kick me off, please kick me off. Otherwise, I'm happy to stay. I I'm gonna bring Amy on, so I'm gonna have to kick you off. It's only it's one. Not, one it's not me. It's Streamyard. <laughs> bye, guys. Thank but, uh, you so we'll much. We definitely have you on again. Bye. Yay! Bye. 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 We'll see you later. Bye. She's gone, lads. Huh? Am I right? Let's bring <laughs> Amy Wall. Hello. How are you, lads? How are you doing? Good to see you. I Off felt so crack. bad. Hello. I've just been hanging out backstage and only you can see me, I don't think. No. <laughs> Where are you now, Amy? Are you in... How did you get past the mountain? I'm in Galway. Are you in Galway? Mm -hmm. Sounds like you weren't <laughs> sure of that. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I'm I'm just constantly drunk, so I never know where I am. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> just isolation just, things, you know yourself. <laughs> just you normally, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, where are you? I'm in Cork. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Cork and team. I think I'm in quarantine. I don't really know. <laughs> is Casey there? She is somewhere. Is the woman there? The fun one. What, your brother, the sexy young one? <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's all, it's, all coming out. it's all coming out. Sexy brother. Right. Amy, you're, you're on last. So we're going to get David to the stage. David, Hi. how are you, man? You're looking I'm hot. good. You're Thank you. Yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be, it's going to be special. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> we're going to try. Yeah, I will. Um, how's it? How's your quarantine, man? Yeah, I think I hated it at first, and now I think I kind of like it a little bit. I certainly don't like going outside anymore. Um, I keep all the blinds closed now. Um, I think when I finally have to go back to the real world, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. I kind of feel like the old old guy in Shawshank Redemption, just like I'm institutionalized now, and I, I, this is my life, and I don't and know. Morgan Freeman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't. I mean, I don't. I mean the actor as well, not the uh, character. All right. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm just doing a more thing. Yeah, I, I yeah. used to be in quarantine, but now <laughs> I'm. <don't. laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I've been keeping um, everything directly in front of this webcam clean, and then everything else. If I was to do like a 360, is disgusting. That's that's been my quarantine. Takeaways, is it? Plates. Oh, oh yeah, up to three oh, plates shit. at any one time. <laughs> nice. You disgust me. Thank God you're a comedian. It's funny if you do that, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the only reason I do it. It's not because I'm disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it's for comic effect. Oh. Yeah, of course. You have to live it. Yeah, you gotta live the comedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Are you ready for? Uh... For your uh, minute on stage. Minute. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, minute-ish. Well, it's an Irish yeah. minute. Yeah, yeah. Here I was timing oh, it I out like it. an asshole. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I'm going to do the awkward shuffle again, and then I'll, I'll introduce you. I go now. Never too sure. No, apparently not. Right, I'm back. Right, everybody. 
give your give it up, everyone out there. I want you to all type clap, clap, clap. Give it up for is it? It's David Strutt, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Everyone, friends, give it up guys. for David Strutt. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, knows me well. Um. So I uh, I don't really watch many TV series anymore. My f- friend he kind of put me off watching them because he goes on about watching a tv series like it's a dead-end job that he really hates that he has to clock in and out of like i'd ask him what are you up to on the weekend and he'd look at me like what am i up to i won't be getting out this weekend i've eight episodes of the walking dead to get through <laughs> yeah uh i was hoping to see uh i was hoping to see the family dad's not well uh then on friday i find out uh they fucking hit me with a new season of peaky blinders so <laughs> won't see him till christmas um even the language he uses you know he'd say like get through a series uh like y- you get through a breakup or a war you don't get through a tv series uh, i can imagine them kind of like writhing in bed back and forth and then he sits up suddenly and he's drenched in sweat and his girlfriend's beside him like oh honey are, are, are you okay what's wrong and he goes oh it's just a bad dream. I had it again. She's like, oh no, not the one where you're watching season six of Breaking Bad. And he's like, yeah, there were just so many pointless episodes. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's, that's, that's me. Uh, that was actually a minute. I should, if I had known, I would have gone, I would have just got on for way longer. But uh, that, that is indeed a minute. Uh, Jack, you want to come back? Okay, let's turn everybody. <laughs> It's still working. I know a minute like Jack. Yeah, yeah, just lost. Sorry, I'm going to fix this format <laughs> <laughs> instead of just popping it. I'm like a Jack in the Box. Go on. Hey, ho, ho. No, no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can have that. It doesn't really work if it's a Terry in the Box. <laughs> uh, well, it depends what kind of box we're talking about here. Yeah. It's like if you bought a Jack in the Box and deal. Maybe like Terry in a we'll have to, bin. We'll have to work together and get you a top garden. Why did you go for a bin? You could have gone for any other sort of container. A bin. You could have gone for a Tupperware jo- I was thinking thing. like Oscar the Grouch. Or one of those things that they keep sweets in. That's why you take me. Oscar <laughs> like, the yeah. Grouch. <laughs> Harry in a sweet jar. That just sounds like your pee. Yeah, title. you could just pop out and be like, what? <laughs> Hang on, there's someone I do. Look, I, you, could, I, you could put me into a whole lot of containers, I'm sure, but uh, the bin would be the last place I, I hope to end up. <laughs> Depends what type of a bin. Fair, fair. I, I wouldn't mind being in a recycling <laughs> bin. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know. It would be clean. Keep the, keep Very the bin. If there hasn't been rain for a while. What was that, Jack? <laughs> oh, God, the silence is a fucking nightmare. Oh. No, what else? It. It's the lag. I, I didn't hear, <laughs> I actually didn't hear what you said. Jack. <laughs> All right, he's gone. He bombed too hard. Right, yeah. let's continue. Yeah. No, he's Amy. gone. He's, he's, yeah. <laughs> Last but not least. Oh, is it me? Oh, so where are you? So you think you're in Galway? Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think so. Okay, right. Is it your house? Yeah. Okay, well, I think you're in Galway. <laughs> I'm being inconsistent. This is where the residents come home. Oh, sorry? I'm being inconsistent. Yeah, to, these people. Uh, to, to be alluring. <laughs> no, I'm talking to Now I'm all nervous because I know that it's me that's talking. Don't be nervous. Uh, Jack, talk There's about only six people doing... watching at the moment. What? There's only There's like six, six people watching. Jack, <laughs> <laughs> so, me and you have known each other since we were like 11, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we went to uh, like drama classes with uh, <laughs> Phil Lillard. Yeah. In, yeah. in the back arse of a male oh, and shrewd. Literally. And then, like, yeah, it's the middle of nowhere full of farmers and fields. And then there's just, like, a ballet studio. Yeah. Us prancing like around like this <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's a, yeah. Phil would love that. He'd love the mention. He would you love the mention, You want to send any of your kids I played to the back uh, end ballet in Mayo. 
And, and right, look at think... us now. I know. <laughs> Funny people. Funny fuckers. Yeah, they need to. I just, feel like, like Ellen on the show. I keep talking over everybody. It's just because there's a silence and I get nervous and I talk and then they're talking and yeah. <laughs> Everyone's talking. And what have you? Play, what have you been doing this. during quarantine? Um. <laughs> Sorry, what are you talking? <laughs> oh, no, all I was going to say was that I play the back end of a cow in one of our plays. Um, which one is that? Jack of the Beanstalk. Yeah. You were a good bottom. I was. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry. You've all you I'm, all have lovely bottoms. I was a very good bottom. I was a fantastic bottom. Uh, I still am. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, quarantine. Uh, it's grand. It's um. I, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like David. I'm like, am I liking it? I don't know. I'm kind of freaked out about the thought of like go back to normal. To be honest. But I am my life are dying to get back into um into yeah. rooms and fearing for my life that if people will laugh at me. So I wanna get back to doing that. That's why this is a safe space. <laughs> you don't hear them tushing. Yeah, as, as Jack as Jack said, yeah, we can just cry in our houses when we just like leave the meeting rather than like waiting until you have to get the bus home, not cry on the bus. Yeah. Or there's, there's nothing worse when you bomb and the other comedians just kind of give you a bit of a... You know. like, yeah, like they kind of maybe were a tough crowd just for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or you know you've done well when everybody wants to talk to you, but then you know you've done shit. Everyone's like, oh, yeah. yeah, it's like you're yeah, a pariah yeah. or something. Everyone's like, yeah, cool, okay, yeah. <laughs> I was tough for us all. Yeah. Except for me, who no, was standing away. Oh, Keep at it. So are Keep you ready trying. to do a... Sorry, I... <laughs> Maybe we should turn your mic on. Did you ever get told you were brave? I just keep talking over you. Say that again? Uh, are you ready to do a, a 60 seconds? Oh, did, did other Jack say something there, no? Or maybe... No. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, go on. <laughs> oh, I, 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 when you were talking about gigs, I said, did you ever get told... It keeps cutting off. <laughs> Hang on, Jack. You, you, you cut. Yeah, this is oh, really Jack is really taking well. it to heart as well. <laughs> yeah, it is. I don't think he realizes that it's cutting off. It's cutting off, and it's he thinks that we're all just intentionally ignoring him. It's cutting off. No, he's gonna it's... cry. He's gonna oh. cry all night. Oh, no, yeah, he's uh, he's. <laughs> it's Javon. We can he's keep. Gonna... I'm going to get rid of him before he does anything. Siobhan, get off that white <laughs> is, yeah. is it better now? <laughs> yes, Siobhan. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, so now I can hear you. Are you yeah. back? All right, well, Siobhan, it's only been uh, Yeah, to be honest, I was opening other shit. I was opening other shit. Sorry, I got bored uh, <laughs> or distracted. <laughs> but, um, no, I said, did you ever get told you were brave? At a t- <laughs> brave, yeah, I've gotten that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a. I had a lad come up. To me. Oh yes, yeah, that's the worst. Oh, it's you're so. It's it takes. It's very, very brave. Yeah, you're very good. I had a lad come up to me and was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, like, it takes um, a lot of courage to get out there. And... Yeah, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Um, I, I, I've thought about doing comedy before, but then like I was always too nervous. But now that I'm after seeing that you can do it, oh, I, I think I can do it. And I was yes. like, "What do you mean you can do it?" <laughs> and he was like, "Just because you're um." Young and I was like, "What? Yeah. What the fuck?" <laughs> like, you're that man, man probably shy. Yeah, he seems like. A well, you can guy. show him now. You'd be like, "Listen, can Look you do it online?" Then you're your fool. <laughs> now, feel, right, right, I'm gonna disappear. And yeah, we know okay. the drill of this thing. All right, you know yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. Right. All right, I'm gonna disappear and then bring. Can I bring everybody back? <laughs> right. How okay. Right. Oh. <laughs> For the last act of the night, guys. Facebook. I want to hear hands clapping. Even if you're in your own living room and there's no one around, just clap anyway. Feel like you're part of it. Give it up for Amy Walsh, everyone. Oh, thank you. I feel like I'm like part of the HSD or the NHS now, getting a clap. Um, but uh, yeah, so Twitter <laughs> has been uh, very weird for everyone. You know, people are 
They've decided that baking is now a personality trait. That's the real fun one. That jeans <laughs> and bras are now extinct. And uh, through the sexiest series of our generation, normal people, the Kardashians have laid their eyes on two of the Irish holy grails, Tato's and GAA shorts. Can you imagine a collaboration <laughs> between those three things? So Mr. Tato in his big suit, Chloe Kardashian dressed in a full GAA kit. I'm telling you, I'd fucking pay for that collaboration. Uh, but speaking of sex, uh, the last day my friend sent me a video of two flies riding on a car. And I'm not going to lie to you, it turned me on. That is where I am <laughs> at the moment. Two flies having sex. So insects, insects. Got me giddy. Think about that one. Use your brain. Um, <laughs> I'll leave you on this really shit joke. Um, so the rest of the shit jokes don't seem as shit. So uh, <laughs> how does an elephant ask for a biscuit? Can I have a biscuit? I've been in my watch. Thank you very much. <laughs> Amy watch, everyone! <laughs> That's true, actually. The, the Kardashians would love normal people. They'd eat it up. Yeah. They watched it. They were thinking about it. Yeah. But they were loving, so, loving the film. A Tato G collaboration them. coming to a screen near you. Yeah. They were, what's Tato? <laughs> Why she is it could be in the next ad. <laughs> right lads well thanks so much for coming on guys to episode one I was just going to try this out I didn't know how, well this could have bombed really hard I, don't, I think it was yeah. good <laughs> yeah. no it was definitely a thing. That's the main thing. Right, okay. I know, it was very enjoyable. That was unnecessary. Jack did a good job. David has a Thanks, everybody else. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. No, we'll bring it back. We'll bring it back. Now, you know, uh, your, know your place. <laughs> Sorry, <No>. Jack. <laughs> yeah, you. It's the equivalent of me bringing on a hook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I think he, I think he's had enough. I uh... <laughs> that power that button to drive you mad with power. I think Jack. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. I know, uh, I know, hopefully I know. Yeah. In all seriousness, thank you. It was awesome. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, Jack. Thanks. Crack. Yeah, I just and thanks. Thanks everybody. Thank you, Jack. Tuesday nights. Everybody do this for Jack. Oh. oh I can't. Oh. I'm on a phone, so <laughs> I have to hold my phone, but I can make half <laughs> half of it. it. <laughs> you take the screen. If, if the person next to me <laughs> makes a little, we'll, yeah, no, David, no. you make a heart, no. half a heart, and we'll combine no. our hearts like that. Uh, oh yeah, that's, that'll be like exotic. Oh, that's yeah. lovely. Yeah. You do it yeah. We love you, Jack. You see, there we go. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, guys. It means a lot. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, oh yeah, no, David, I'm done now. I'm not doing any more hearts. He, he, David still wants me to go. No. <laughs> We got a keep... we got a little uh, Siobhan has just messaged. This was class. I don't know what's going on. I... Kiss ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll what have to I get her on the next one. <laughs> right, it's not a positive support. <laughs> well we'll all get we'll get you all back in the future when this is better organized and I'm able to do the transitions better. But thank you all. You're all very funny people. Go forth, spread the laughter. Uh, will we do the whole awkward like bye bye and then we all exit out or bye. yeah I like that bye <laughs> bye, <laughs> bye everybody bye bye, bye. 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 bye.